Welcome back to Greed uh, for today's the day. We are finally going for the trial of waters. We are very well equipped for that, I think, and we know what to do. We do have sleeping potions and everything. Let's -a go. Oh, wait, we have to upgrade her new dress, don't we? Is our mask upgradable? Oh, no, it's not. They never are. Um, Siora. Storm Warrior's tunic. She has now. Let's give her... What? I think she had science on the other one that would be fury generation and poison resistance that would be magical resistance and poison resistance that's pretty good right and that would be needed for donny god let's give her that And then armor and balance. Yeah, definitely. And more balance than armor, armor and balance. Yeah. 1818. I think that one. Nice. Now we don't look alike. We did have the exact same outfit. No more, though, no more. I like variety. No. We just go back into the cave. Okay. Everybody ready? I am. I guess. Look, okay. they're eating the old carcass. If you poured some food in the ocean, they'd okay, wait, wait, wait for it. Should be able to pass without a fight. Oh, okay. Okay, there's <laughs> nothing back here. <laughs> Enter the cave. We only needed one. Well, nope. Not exactly. Oh no, we don't have the vicar, do we? <gasps> we have. Okay. 
Okay, no animals. Where? Oh! That's right. But don't we have to look in there? Uh, you were freezing and you had this empty stair. The water in the basin spoke to you. No. Yes. Exactly like the lightning struck tree. I was something else for a brief moment. Tell us. Visions like this are guides, a keys for the sacred rituals. I was in the sky. I was floating, carried by the wind. And it was a cold feeling. I was high up and it was getting colder and colder. I felt my blood freezing in my veins. I fell to the ground and spun slowly. And then the sun warmed me and suddenly I bounced on the ground. And I was taken by the bubbling current of this creek. Then, just like before, the vision dissipated. And I was suddenly with you again. Okay. Hopefully... Oh, dang. Hopefully I can listen to it again, because... I have to retell the story, right? The drawing on this stone makes me think of fire, I'm certain. This drawing looks like an infant. Could it represent life? Fire, life. Here, this looks like a snowflake. Snow or maybe ice. She was talking of being cold. This stone is adorned with the etching of a drop of water. And she did fall into a creek. This stone is blackened, eaten away. I think it is supposed to evoke death. This stone bears the image of a storm, or perhaps the wind. On this stone, the sun is visible. Okay. Fire, life, cold, uh, water, death, wind, and sun. Can we listen to it Once again? Once again, these visions open gates. Try to remember them. I was in the sky. Sky. I was floating, carried by the wind. The and it was wind? a cold feeling. I was high up cold. and it was getting colder and colder. I felt my blood freezing in my veins. I fell to the ground and spun slowly. And then... Sun? The sun warmed me. And suddenly I bounced on the ground. And I was taken by the bubbling current of this creek. Water? Then, just like before... The vision dissipated, and I was suddenly with you again. I think that's all that we saw. Wind, cold, sun, and water. So, wind? This stone bears the image of a storm. Yeah. Wind, cold, sun, and... This stone is adorned with the edge yeah, water. Uh, I solved it. Complete the trial of waters. I solved it. What do I get? <laughs> Nothing. There's a stick. Oh, it's a root. Okay. I don't think that is a good idea. Can I climb that? Oh, I can. You coming? He's down there, isn't he? Oh, look at that. This must be the seal that Glendan spoke about. It looks like the silhouette of the mountain of Tirfredi. 
and a face is drawn within it. The spirit of the volcano. One of the faces of Einar Mir Frichtemann. We saw that before, didn't we? We did it! Awesome. That was not too bad. Next trial, please. <laughs> oh, through there, isn't it? Or maybe not. That seems broken. Bear tear to mud on Almanawi. I congratulate you for passing the trial. Enter. Thank you. It was my owl mask. And so you have returned. Can you tell me what the seal deep within the cavern brings into your mind? A face in the mountain of Tear Fridi. Then you have seen the true face of the island when looking into her waters. And the island has seen inside you. You That's sent creepy. the beasts into a deep sleep. That was very clever. Another before you did the same. In choosing the path of silence, you avoided confronting the Dosantats. Finally, you have completed the ritual. And in so doing, the Guardian recognized you as a wise man. You choose to trust the way of rules and wisdom. It is a difficult path. But it carries generous fruits. The island has seen your intelligence and also your compassion. The friendship of Katasach towards you no longer surprises me. Am I authorized to encounter Enon Mil Frichtemann now? To present him with my request? If the High King agrees, yes. We shall not oppose that decision. Only a High King or High Queen is allowed to open the Sanctuary. I warn you, your voyage is far from over. I suppose that I'm going to need to convince him as well. Where can I find him? I do not know. And I believe that it may be another trial on your path to find the one you seek. Is he hiding? Has he been captured? He disappeared several months ago. Since then, we have not heard from him. He was worried about the Renaixe. The last people to have seen him, I'm told, were the most important chiefs of the clans here at the council. There was Dedra, Blatnid, Ulan, and Dunkas. My mother, alas, can tell us nothing more. Yes, I heard about your loss, Yora. And the Vorstirse. Morning is a difficult time to pass. And the worst here, Thank you, Glinda. Dedra is the Mal of the clan of the Storm Warriors. You will find her in the village of Vedlug. I have already met her. She sent me to confront a guardian. That sounds like her. Ulan is the Mal of the village of Vignamri, near the coast. It is said that he welcomes the Renaxe. As for Dunkas, he leads the Vigigidor. He is the chief of the Earth Healers. His village is not very far from the Didekid and Nadages. Very well. I will go and see them. Try to find this High King. Thank you, Glendan. Kwaawalamsek. I hope that you will find him. How inconvenient that he vanished, right? I do not like that at all. Speak to Constantine. Oh, okay. So first we go back. Well, fair. Fair enough. He might die. Every time we go to him, he either looks worse, or something happens. <laughs> yeah, 
Let's see if he recognizes us in our owl mask. It's funny that anybody does, right? I mean, we are not recognizable at all. Maybe because of the cape. Still alive? No. Dang it. I knew it. He died. Didn't he? Lieutenant, I demand an explanation. Tell us what is going on. We haven't heard anything about Lord Dorsey's condition in spite of our inquiries. We are extremely worried. And then all of a sudden one of his guards appears, shaken and on his own, though he is part of his retinue. Please. Allow me the chance to shed some light, my lady. Your soldier is nothing more than a coward for abandoning his highness. Tell me, what is going on? This soldier has just reported in. He is asking for reinforcements. He believes that Lord Dorsey has been attacked. He believes? He ran here without full knowledge of what happened firsthand. I... I was sent on patrol far from the camp, but I heard screams from men and from beasts. I wanted to return to camp, but then I heard a deafening sound, grinding like a landslide. I thought then it would be best just to go and get help. Thank you, Lieutenant. You were dismissed. I would like to have a discussion with this man alone. Yes. My lady, could you lead these fine people into the hallway if you would be so kind? Certainly. I deplore this embarrassing turn of events. But know that you have my full support in all circumstances. In the interest of avoiding a general panic, tell me precisely what happened back there. Your cousin ordered us to escort him beyond the town limits. The Islander convinced him to go on some journey. By Islander, do you mean the Donegad that came to treat his affliction? Yes, a, a strange bird. Missing more than one feather, you ask me, milady. I was ordered to set up patrol along a small path, rather far from the rest of the company. I was told to protect our perimeter from anyone wandering along. According to the Islander, it was the only access to their planned destination. I did my rounds for quite some time. Not a soul came along. But then I heard cries a ways off, and I went running to help. I heard an enormous crushing sound, li like an avalanche of rocks. So then I turned right back around. And you ran all the way here. Huh. Do you know precisely where the company was when you heard these sounds? No, not precisely. I hadn't gone there. But I could show you where I was posted. The Islander said they were following the path. But he was quite a ways ahead when I lost sight of them. Why didn't you go and look for yourself? To see if they had been buried by a rock slide. What? Alone? Well, what could I have done? It seemed of greater urgency to go and get help. I'm still having trouble deciding if cowardice or intelligence got the best of you. But that's a question for your superiors. My cousin was quite weak. Do you know why he decided to follow the Denegad? His Highness was feeling much better. The potions that he was drinking must have been potent. I mean to show no disrespect to his highness, but that islander had the high ground in the War of Wits. I wasn't privy to their counsel. I haven't the beginning of an explanation for the expedition, but your cousin was all full of enthusiasm and ordered that we set out as quick as we could make ready. That sounds like him. What sort of mess has he gotten himself into again? I am sorry, milady, but I don't know anything else I could tell you. Dismissed, soldier. Looks like I'm going on an expedition. Thank you, Yay. my lady. <laughs> it's a bit funny with the owl mask, isn't it? <laughs> oh, dang. I knew something would happen. Well. Let's try and find him. Shall we? Oh, you stayed outside. Come with me, I trust you. This should be... Ah, now we have that quest too. 
But yeah, maybe we should first try and find him. Maybe that's impossible even. As we do have that quest too. Let's see. Seems to be urgent, right? Okay. Let's see what he marked. Oh. There's a note. From Lady Mirage, to the attention of Legate de Sardé of the Congregation, Your Excellency, a messenger informed us of the arrival of a delegation from His Highness the Prince de Vesp, led by his daughter. If possible, I would like you to get back to New Serene as soon as possible. I do not know how to react to the rather disturbing arrival of this family on Tier In the hope that this letter has found you in good health, I look forward to seeing you again. I just met her. Oh, wait, what? Explore a new region on the island of Tier 4 d Face and family fo- Oh! This is a DLC! Uh. <laughs> okay. That is funny. They got me there. Um... Travel. Whew. But it's funny how they implemented that. Here are the three... The three chiefs. Chieftains. Okay, let's go. Yeah. There's a great arch. Somewhere back there. Oh yeah. Have to make a turn here. This is one of, ma of the maps that is, I think, fully explored. Seems so. But yeah, we are far from the end, it seems. I was mistaken. We go up there. I don't think we have... <laughs> I wanted to say, I don't, I don't think we have to worry about these guys. But um, my companions think otherwise. They want to fight them. This is the camp that Constantine's escort must have established. It wasn't a landslide that did this, but combat. A deadly one. I sure hope our little governor has escaped the carnage. Search the area. Let's see if we can find any clues as to what happened here. Uh oh. Isn't that the camp of the expedition of Telemi? What looks like claws. And there are traces of blood everywhere. Some of these men must have been attacked in their sleep. By beasts? Most of the weapons are missing. Our soldiers wouldn't have taken a rest without defenses. Our soldiers were attacked by surprise and... animals were amongst the assailants. However, our men reacted properly. They were armed and they fled as best they could. There are no bodies and no sign of the presence of Constantine or Katazak. Perhaps they were in another place and the soldiers wanted to join them. We need to follow the tracks. There are no bodies? Are you serious? There are bodies everywhere. <laughs> How can she say that so confidently? Okay, we have to follow the tracks down there.
This area has been trampled. An entire stampede passed by here. Our soldiers must have fled the area and taken this path followed by their assailants. This is a sacred place of a native cult. No doubt this is where Katasak and Constantine were going. It isn't really a place of a cult, uh, but rather a place of... anchoring. A place where Donegada perform a ritual to become Sinol Menawi. These places are charged with great energy. Perhaps. Katasach wanted to use it to bring relief to your cousin. Perhaps. But there are bodies. And without a doubt, there was fighting here. Search the place. Let's see what we are able to find. I mean, animal bodies? People? The corpses of both men and beasts. These soldiers fought dearly to the end. <sighs> Neither Constantine nor Katasach are amongst them. Crater, without a doubt caused by an explosive potion. The soldiers might have been carrying them. They must have been desperate to have taken such drastic measures. I mean, it's not really a crater, just a burnt spot. This blade is a native ritual knife, and this bowl contained a potion. Someone wanted to perform a ritual here. Could Katasak have found a better means to alleviate Constantine's symptoms? Constantine and Katasak must have been visiting this place, perhaps performing some sort of healing ritual. When the attack took place, the soldiers intervened and many fell during the fight, but a group escaped down this path. We need to continue following their tracks. So they didn't get inside. This is such a cool region. Once you got away, fled this way. Oh, burning tree. It's burning Strange. trees. These trees look half calcinated, as if they were exposed to immense heat. These weapons are in terrible condition. Whatever did these men come up against? Damn, it's a huge. Things burned. Another burnt tree. This path seems to have been scorched in flames. Oh, uh, let's. Ah, we should try that. Let's bomb him. I mean, problem is that it always also. I believe that our soldiers could be carrying so many explosive potions. Uh, I want to say it, it always causes friendly fire. So it's good when we do it when they're behind us. These poor soldiers were torn to pieces. Animals again? Or something else? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't seem so that it were animals. New footprints. It looks as if a group met up with them and took this path. There was more fighting over here. Ah, oh, there's there's a big one. There are not only corpses of our own men. Where could these other soldiers have come from? These are coin guard. But I couldn't tell you if they served the Bridge Alliance or Teleme. Uh oh. 
Again, treason? More signs of explosions. But what were they doing with all these explosives on them? There are footprints. Only a handful made it up here. Oh, by the way, uh, in between episodes or two episodes ago, I was take that. Um, I was exploring the unexplored regions of the regions we have already been to because I didn't know that we would come here anyways. And there was one of the journals, so maybe I, we can read it now. Let's do it like that. Should be in here. It must be that one, yeah. The natives had told us about a giant creature who had reigned over the heights. And the statue we have found could be a depiction of it. It is a large winged beast. It seems agile and capable of flying, but its body seems fragile and unprotected. Of course it is only a depiction and we will have to see, for, uh, see ourselves to confirm these observations. So that's pretty cool. And it is a bird statue. Look at that. It's awesome, isn't it? stops on this overhang and despite signs of a skirmish I can't see any sign of Constantine or Katasak oh now we have to kill those beasts gosh these rocks these rocks were broken as if they had taken cannon fire but what could have happened here to examine their body. Get out of my way. Hello. Oh, right. Oh, no. Let's try the stasis. Uh, it's not... It's not stasis. Huh. That didn't work. Maybe our space is too weak. I don't recognize these men. Still more unknown soldiers. Could they have been responsible for the attack? This one is carrying a letter. Let's see. This one? According to this note, this troop came from an outpost of the Bridge Alliance close by. A patrol, no doubt. Could the bridge be in some way linked to this attack? That makes no sense. Hmm, well... These vials look familiar. Kadasak used the very same to stock his potions. He came all the way here. I'm going to pick them up. I recognize this sack. It's my cousin's. Oh, Constantin. What have you gotten yourself into again? Very well. Let's sum things up. Constantin and Katazak definitely came through here to perform some sort of ritual. But they were attacked. An attack obviously involving wild animals. And then there are these traces of inexplicable flames. Could it be magic? You cannot suspect my people are behind this attack. You have strayed far from the path. No one would have attacked Katasach. Unless... he himself was behind it. He is a powerful Donegad. The beasts obey him. How could you even think something like that? He is a healer. He brought comfort to your cousin. Perhaps he only did it to gain our trust. With Constantine captive, he can now apply leverage to the colonists and force them to accept his conditions. But in all truth, I have no idea what to think. Regardless of who is guilty, I must find my cousin. Perhaps we could return to Wenchevier in order to learn more. Katazak may have returned there. His Vogland might be able to tell us where to find him. 
We are also going to have to visit the outpost. Their soldiers participated in the combat. Or at least the end of it. They must have some stories to tell us. I doubt that the Alliance would have decided to openly attack their ally. Don't forget that they owe their continued presence on the island to you. And thanks to you, too. But their men were there on the cliff. And Constantine is no longer among us. Maybe those men are still loyal to the preceding commander. However, one way or another, Constantine is in danger. Let us be on our way without further delay. Hmm. That is all very weird. Isn't it? Oh, is that the outpost? Supposedly so. Yeah. Yeah, as we are here, I think we should do that first. How do we get there? All the way down there. Yeah, that's the region I explored in between episodes. That's funny. <laughs> so... The quests will lead us around the complete map, it seems. So no need for... For exploring on myself. Yeah, it wasn't clear with these regions, because... What's back there? That's where we wanted to go. Because we've been there so long ago. So I wasn't sure. And because that quest sounded like it would be one of the last ones. Oh. <laughs> really? <laughs> you accrued these guys? There's a counter. And ow, oh, yeah, right. So if they get hit, this is over. And I think as uh, as this is a level one spell, it's really not good. <laughs> We're not good at matching. Yet. Maybe we'll never, we never will be. Yeah, and that's one of the camps I set up in between episodes. There are a ton of mushrooms here. Oh, right, this is not everywhere. Funny. avalanche, right? That's so true. Or maybe it's a bit too far away. Colonials? You must have gotten lost to have come this far from nowhere. To whom do I owe the honor? To Sade. I am legate of the Congregation of Merchants on this island. A legate? Here? Pardon my dismay, but we don't get many uh, official sorts around here. Captain Idris, I am the ranking officer in charge of this Bridge Alliance outpost. What can I do for you, milady? I am looking for Constantin Dorsey, the island governor of the Congregation of Merchants. A governor? Here? Whatever would he be doing in this rattle? My cousin was part of an expedition in this region. 
His men and his camp were attacked. They nearly all died. But we found no trace of his body, which has us hoping that he may still be alive, wounded and holding up somewhere, or even captured. Have you cast your suspicions in our direction? I hope this is a joke. We've had neither reinforcements nor supplies for weeks. In my book, we've been totally forgotten. I wouldn't risk the few lives remaining to attack a governor's camp. I'm not crazy. I'm truly sorry for your cousin, Excellency, but we haven't seen him. And we definitely haven't kidnapped him. The region is dangerous. The natives are heartless. You should be looking in their direction. You do know that we found the bodies of several men from the garrison up there, don't you? How could you be sure? One of them was carrying a note, signed by your hand. And they are dead. I had hoped they'd have survived and would eventually return. Explain yourself, Captain. What were your men doing on the clifftop? They were monitoring the zone. They were to warn us of any troop movements. We have lost too many men to surprise attacks. We decided to take initiative and be ready. Yesterday, we heard screams and saw some strange lights up there. But I was hoping... And you didn't go and see for yourself? You hear screams, certainly those of your own men, and you don't do anything. So the last of my men give up their lives for nothing as well. You can think of me as a coward if you like, but me, I'm taking no more unnecessary risks. Why do I have the feeling that you're holding something back from me? <laughs> I understand what you're feeling. The pain of seeing your men fall one after the other. The feeling of being abandoned by your leaders. The anger. But if you know anything, speak. My cousin is not one of them. I don't know what to tell you, Excellency. I haven't stepped a foot outside camp. I'm convinced that you are hiding something from me, Captain. I will return. And my answers will not change. Anything else? I need to be going. I would very much like to do the same. Safe journey, Your Excellency. I don't just believe him. That's strange. That is very strange indeed. I wouldn't have told him right away that our governor is missing. That could give them some information to have the upper hand. In other matters like diplomacy matters, right? Oh, a journal of Captain Idris. Our situation here is becoming more and more precarious. Of the small squad I sent to watch the heights, only one soldier has returned. Aha, somebody did return. And he is in a state that unfortunately leaves us with little hope. I do not know exactly what happened back there, but I believe that we would do well not to get involved. We are in enough trouble as it is. I wonder how we can survive this. We are not receiving any reinforcements or supplies and we haven't been paid in a long time. Dang. So, can we find that man? They don't want us here. What the hell? 
else can be investigated. Talk to anybody. Can I get up on the walls? Must be. Must be at the infirmary, right? Is is the main date already? That was of no use whatsoever. Why can we be here? We cannot climb the tower. we talk to him again? Guess we talk to him again. Good day, Captain. Excellency. At your service. What might I do for you? We know that one of your men survived, Captain. Why did you hide that from us? Why? Because you, the powers that be, the legates and the commanders, you don't give a damn about anyone but yourselves. My men die. And I must stand and watch without any means to help them. This boy that survived, and that you only see as a tool, will soon enough join the others. He did make it up to here, that's true. And then collapsed, unconscious, and according to our nurse, he won't awaken. I am sorry, Captain. Perhaps we can... See him? Go to the infirmary, and if you really want to make yourself useful, try and save him. Anything else? I need to be going. I would very much like to do the same. Safe journey, Your Excellency. Okay, now we can talk to the nurse. And that's most probably why there is a crafting table, because we need health potions. What are you doing there? This is an infirmary! I know. I've come to see the wounded soldier. The captain told me you might need my help. That is very kind of him. But alas, it's a little late. What are you saying? Is the soldier... No, he still lives. But I've been asking the captain for weeks to escort me on a mission to replenish my stocks. I no longer have a single remedy. And now that we have a wounded patient, I can only wipe water on his brow and hope. Do you know what type of remedy would allow him to survive? Yes, at least I think so. It's a known potion that heals burns. I see. Give me the recipe. We'll go and see that it's prepared for you. <sighs> Thank you. Because of you, this poor boy might be able to survive his wounds. Uh, 
Uh, throwing potion against birds. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm on my way. Only nightshade berries. That was too easy. Were you able to concoct the potion against burns? Yes, I was. Might we administer it? Give it to me. I'll take care of this. <sighs> we must wait and be patient now. Will he make it? I hope so. We'll know soon enough. This potion is extremely potent. And if he survives, when could we speak to him? Come back tomorrow at the same time. We'll know more then. Very well. I'll come back tomorrow. See you soon. And thank you again for your help. Okay. Well. She could have done by herself. By just collecting some of these berries. They're everywhere. <laughs> but hey, who am I to judge? <laughs> they seem to be very scared. So, yeah. In that case... We go back to camp and pass time, right? Sleep a little. I think it's night time anyways. Maybe we can even sleep until the next day in the morning so that we can see better. And then we'll listen to what he'll tell us and maybe find Constantine. Maybe he's dead. Maybe he's captured. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> but we'll find out for sure in one of the next episodes. Uh, let me go back. Here we are, and I will end it here. Thank you so, so much for watching this episode. Have a wonderful and adventurous day, and goodbye.